I mean, the house is not going to be the same anymore with her gone. When police rushed to this Dumfries home Sunday night, 27-year-old Christina Smith was already dead. Twenty-seven-year-old Christina Smith was an outgoing and kind-hearted young woman who was known for her love of family and deep love and care for her two daughters. She was looking forward to starting a new job in a couple of days. On the evening of March 13th, Christina and her ex-boyfriend went to the home of an acquaintance to have a discussion that would quickly turn into a heated verbal and physical dispute. Christina's ex-boyfriend immediately attempted to stop the altercation between the two women, who were once friends. Neither Christina nor her boyfriend had a clue that things would quickly turn left. Around 8.10 p.m., police responded to the home on the 4400 block of White Haven Drive, where they would find Christina on the porch. Christina Smith was killed yesterday. Her friend, another young mother, is charged with the murder outside a home in Dumfries. At some point during the argument, 34-year-old Rolana Latavia Garrett began hitting Christina with a spatula, followed by her grabbing a knife that she would use to fatally stab Christina in the upper body. A witness attempted to save her, but it was too late. Christina was pronounced dead on the scene. Her boyfriend, who was also cut on the hand, fled the scene before police could arrive. According to neighbors, there was a history of violence at the home but never thought it would amount to something like this. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey spoke with the victim's family. Felicia Shands and Hubert Smith came to see for themselves the house, the porch, and the yard where their daughter took her last breaths. The victim's two little girls, ages four and six, alongside them. They say the youngest child can't understand yet what's happened to her mom. It's hard. I mean, the house is not going to be the same anymore with her gone. When police rushed to this Dumfries home Sunday night, 27-year-old Christina Smith was already dead, a fatal stab wound. This next-door neighbor says she and her husband heard the commotion that soon erupted. We heard the, thun the, the thunder and the noise. I mean, just people talking real loud and, and like, angry. The victim's family says they've been told Christina's male companion tried to break things up. When Latavia Garrett first began hitting the victim with a spatula, then grabbed the knife. The suspect's boyfriend was also cut on the hand, but he fled the scene before police arrived. And it's not the first time there's been violence at this house. We found more than a half dozen bullet holes marking the siding and windows. Neighbors say the accused killer's grandfather had tried to keep things under control, but he died a few months ago. Christina Smith's family says it still seems unreal. They say their daughter was scheduled to start a new job today. It's tough. It's real tough right now. She would do stuff for people, you know, um, just out the kindness of her heart. She loved her kids. She loved her family, you know. And that's why it just is, it's, it's hard. Hard to cope with the loss and hard to understand. The crazy part of it all is... Not only did the suspect take a mother away from two innocent children, but also caused her own daughter to be without a mother due to her poor decision. Garrett's court date is currently pending, and she is being held without bond.